What's up guys, welcome back. There's more football action today from the Confederation of Independent Football Associations. The Conifer World Cup is still going on and uh, Largest Lane, home to Bracknell Town, is the host to a double header today. Now, that's not something that my ex-girlfriend would do. It's two football matches um, being played one after the other. The main one I'm interested in today is um, Padania versus Panjab, two awesome teams that have been doing really well. And actually, looking on the um, conifer.org website, uh, rankings as of the 1st of January this year, Panjab ranked number one, Padania ranks number two. I hope I'm saying those names right. Um, Padania is a, um, a region, actually, uh, looking at the, um, the program again, an alternative name for the Pado Valley in northern Italy. Um, officially founded in 2013 so uh very very um big court final game today um largest lane is about maybe an hour away it's a little bit colder today which is good because um the the, the weather recently has been nice but it's been a nightmare for playing football in i would assume um so i'm excited about today's game padania versus panjab uh let's get to the ground <laughs> Okay, so I'm inside the ground now. I've got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest. Um, it's definitely the smallest of the three venues that I've been to so far in this tournament. Um, it says, I think it holds two and a half thousand, but I'd be dubious, really. A lot of that is going to be sort of all around the, um, around the edges. Not enough seating capacity, definitely. But my, um, my main issue is with the the location and the, the car park there's hardly any parking spaces there was loads of confusion on the door as well there's no signs whatsoever pointing towards the football club that i've seen anyway um so for fans visiting for the very first time like i was um it's all a little bit of a nightmare the turnstile was um sort of at the very front of the car park but the gates were closed to begin with and then they were open and i've had a couple of people approach me now saying that um, they weren't sure whether or not we were allowed to park where we were and, and there's no one on the on the ticket office so they've just kind of walked in and for a quarter final I, I would expect sort of a little bit more organisation um, and maybe sort of a, a bigger, slightly better venue so disappointing at the moment but I'm sure, I've got no doubt the football's going to make up for it. So the referee's about to get the game underway. Um, Padania National Anthem is probably the greatest um, thing I've ever heard in my whole life. It's more like a sort of a rock song. It's brilliant. Um, I'm still kind of disappointed. There's, there's not so much of a crowd. There's not so much of an atmosphere here today. 
Uh, you know, the clubhouse is nice, but it's a little bit small. Toilets are nice, but a little bit small. Everything's sort of nice, but a little bit small, including me. But that's because the weather's got a little bit colder, so it's not my fault. Um, but it's just I'm not sure if this is the right venue for a uh, for a quarter final. Um, like I say, my opinion may change towards the end of the game, but right now I'm just I'm not convinced. So the referee's about to get the game underway. Um, I am currently behind the Panjab goal. Panjab in the all blue kit, um, shooting away from me, and Padania in the green and white. There's also someone with a drum over there, so that may make me change my position, depending on how good their rhythm is. So just over five minutes in, there's a free kick to Panjab on the right hand side of the pitch. Both teams started fairly lively, I guess. It's not that good of either the two of them. Um, a fair bit of excitement coming from the uh, from the drama over there is quite up, but unfortunately, I think the majority of the people that are here today are all going to be press and ground hoppers. Um, there's no uh, there's no major support for either team here, which is a shame. So Panjab have been given a free kick in um, quite a dangerous position after one of their runners was deliberately held back by a defender, but um, poorly taken straight into the keeper's hands. And once again, the drum dies down. So now it's um, Padania's chance with a free kick, uh, just outside the box there on the right hand side. A lot of jostling going on in the box. Panjab have got some big defenders though. They deal with it well. Panjab drum is all right, but it's not really playing anything that I can sing along to. Free kick to Padania on the left hand side here. Cleared away again, still no nil. Skinny fries, only two pounds. Oh, this dude's away. He's one on one. I need to try and zoom in. Oh, keeper, what a save. What a save by the goalkeeper there. One on one. Striker needed to do better there. Still nil nil. Got it down well. Taken out by the defence again. The, uh, the goalkeeper here made another awesome save just moments ago. Definitely keeping his team in it. Oh, just over. Free kick to Padania on the left hand side. Um, <clears throat> it's got to be coming up to the end of the first half here, so not going to be many more opportunities for him. And that one's wasted. And as I say that, the referee's blown his whistle for half time, so it is um, Padania nil, Panjab nil. It's been a wicked first half actually, really good. But kept nil nil by this man here. Um, played brilliantly so far. Okay, I think um, Panjab possibly started the stronger of the two teams. Um, Padania certainly got much further back into it in the um, second part of the first half. Um, despite both teams failing to break the deadlock. I think it's been a really good first half of football. Um, I can't decide who is going to um, be the, the victors today though. I think it's 90 minutes and then possibly penalties afterwards so we'll see but very very tight game so far. So second half is underway. Incredible moment. The, uh, the keeper made a, a great one-handed save. Um, Padania have then had another shot, and it's been um, saved just off of the line by one of the um, Panjab players. I don't know if they're appealing that the ball's gone over the goal or not, but goal line technology here is um, scarce in Bracknell, so we're relying on the linesman who says uh, it did not cross the line. Play continues, nil-nil. So the corner ball to Padania now, after that incident. Another shout, but I think he's gone for a penalty. 
Yeah, it looks like it's penalty's been given. Drummer's back out. Plays it just to the wrong side of the goalkeeper and uh, deadlock's been broken. Padania one, Panjab nil. Um, quite unexpected, I guess. It was a bit of a scuffle in the box, difficult to tell exactly what had happened, but uh, regardless, it's one nil now. There's been a few yellow cards in this game already. Will we see the infamous green card, which I think is being trialled in this competition, where um, the referee can send someone off um, by showing them a green card. That person can then be replaced by someone from the bench, providing uh, their team has got substitutions that they can make. Otherwise, the team goes a man down. Look, it was a, there's a uh, free kick to Panjab on the right hand side over there. Every time a Panjab player gets the ball in his final third, he just gets swamped by. Um, Padania defenders, um, they are heavily defending this uh, this 1-0 lead now. Panjab slowly pushing forward and forward and uh, possibly going to get a break soon, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with this, uh, with this free kick here anyway. Defended away again. Oh, I'll tell you what, he nearly knocked my tango over there. There's a bit more of a sense of urgency from Panjab now. They realise they're 1 0 down, they're running out of time, and uh, find it very difficult to break through this. Um, Padania defence. There's been some proper crunching tackles going on in this game. Another incident just taking place over there on the right hand side of the pitch. The referee's just produced his 37th yellow card of the game, which um, I think is the only colour card that he's got in his pocket. It'd be interesting to see if, um, if any other cards are produced during this game, but there's not a lot of time left. Panjab running out of time. I reckon there's probably only a minute and a half left, possibly. Um, we've just been given another free kick for another foul that's taking place over there. Uh, no cards this time though. They wants to play into the middle, but game plan did not work out. And um, Panjab an hour away. Goalkeeper's out and committed. Ball's played past. He's open goal. And I think it's all over. Um, Padania players going um, crazy down there. 2-0 to them. Uh, third officials just held up the sign saying it's four minutes of uh, extra time left, but I don't think that's going to be enough now for Panjab, who um, opted for a strange free kick. I think they should have just hit it, personally, but uh, good scenes anyway. Free kick to Padania, which has been kicked into the building site, never to be seen again. So that's it then, full time whistle's gone. Uh, the Continental International Football Association's world number two, uh, Padania, has just beaten the world number one team 2 0. Um, really good game, actually, it was, it was a good game. Um, the ground, I guess, is suitably sized for the crowd that is here. I'm just disappointed that there weren't more people here to, to um, cheer on both teams, really. It's not had the, the carnival atmosphere that the last couple of games that I've been to have had. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but um, hopefully uh, good games coming up still. Okay, that's going to be it for me for today um, from Bracknell, Bracknell Towns ground, is it? Um, it's, it's not a bad ground, I mean, it's a nice ground, it's a nice ground. They, they need more signs outside pointing where it is and they needed someone on the gate to explain what's happening with the car parking. But other than that, it was definitely a suitable size for the unfortunately small crowds that turned up today. 
Um, not enough Asian players playing professionally in England, but if anyone's looking for a goalkeeper, uh, the Punjab goalie um, was uh, was outstanding today. It was unfortunate that he, um, that he ended up letting in a couple of goals, albeit one of them was a penalty. Um, much more um, kind of professional looking game today. Two very, very evenly matched teams. Um, not like in the group stages where, where some of the games were, were you know, very off kilter and, and unmatched. Um, this, this was two very tough battling teams. You can see why they're ranked one and two. Um, so Padena go on to, um, on to the semis. Um, so good luck to them. Not sure if I'm going to be able to pretend that I'm at work when I'm actually at football matches anymore. So I'll see, I don't know if that's gonna be it for me for the competition, possibly not. I'm gonna try and get to some more games if I can. It's been awesome anyway. Thank you very much for the support on these videos. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, then please click on the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and share it with your friends. Not enough um, people are aware that this competition is even going on at the moment. I think everyone's focused on the, uh, the FIFA World Cup. Uh, but this has been brilliant, very well organised. So um, if you enjoyed it, sweet. Thank you. Uh, take care. Later.